Hi, this is Mike Lutley of Know Your Mind. Welcome to part four of how to use face reading to isolate key characteristics of a person. Now, by observing what is right in front of you, staring you in the face, you can quickly pick up specific characteristics of a person to help you to understand what essentially makes them tick. And this will enable you to communicate with them in an intuitive, perceptive and intelligent way. The result? You will light up their neural networks. Now the combination of body language expertise and face reading insights will strengthen your rapport skills and definitely lead to superior results. So here are the final three common facial structures and what you can learn from them. Now they are composite shapes. The first is the narrow forehead with the wide jaw. Now this shape is easy to recognize because you'll see a wide tight jaw and a high narrow forehead. Now these types generally are introverted, intuitive and really determined. These people can be emotionally suppressed and have a sense of loneliness. They like to be alone with their thoughts and lack the warmth, often lack the warmth to be with others. They are instinctively careful and cautious. And they're often quite shy, but they are single-minded and they do enjoy pondering deep, interesting and original problems. Now the square head with an oval chin. Now these people are very strong-minded. They are compassionate and flexible. They often have an understanding, emotional and sensitive nature. They can be very successful in business and with money. They are seen as a people's person. They generally make good counsellors and are adept at negotiating. They are self-aware, energetic and versatile. Finally, the round forehead tapering to a pointed chin. These people have high aspirations and they are mentally creative. They're often open-minded, but they can be quite sensitive. They possess a loving, caring nature, but they can get upset when they're not understood by others. They can have difficulty dealing with emotional issues. They much prefer to use reason. They do not find it easy to articulate their feelings. And because they are highly aspirational, they may need grounding from time to time. That completes the final three common facial structures. In the next part, I'll begin to look at the prominent features of the face and what they actually mean. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Remember to continue to observe the three aspects of the face, the mental, the emotional and the physical and compare the percentages that are present. Also take note of the prominent features of the face. So please visit my website knowyourmind.com and my blog mikelally.com and make contact if you wish. Also remember you have many faces so let's put them to use. Let's begin to see the overall shape of the face so we can gather important characteristics so we can influence people much more easily. And also never forget the face says this is who I am. So before we chat again in the meantime take care Cheerio for now.